Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I'm going to go through something that's going to seem a little strange, the idea of a case statement in Small Talk. As you probably know, Small Talk doesn't have one, and in almost all circumstances I'd advise against trying to create one. However, I've been asked about this a couple of times in recent weeks, and I figured I'd go through a sketch of what you might do to create one, and I'm using VA Small Talk here, although it doesn't really matter. I've got this same code working in VisualWorks, and the guy I was conversing with got the same code working in GNU Small Talk, so it's not hard to do. In any case, here's basically the idea. Create a case statement object. I see case one do this block, case two do this other block, case three do this other block, and so on. And then I try to send it switch on six, and the default, in case that doesn't exist, is to go ahead and send this, or switch on five, which doesn't exist without a default block, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll do all of these things, and we'll execute that. And you go up here and look in the transcript. And you see, could not find case because we tried to switch on six and it wasn't there. Let's go ahead and I'll delete this so you can see this a little more obviously. We'll do the whole thing and we'll do the switch on five at the end. And you'll see you couldn't find the case for six and it tr printed the transcript, but it threw an error because what I've got here is the default case here for no default cases, throw an exception. Maybe not the most elegant implementation, possibly not what you want, but this is just a sketch. Now to see how you would do this, it's pretty basic. Here's the instance creation method on the class side. Let's go to the instance where all the action is. And here's my API. Cases is just an ordered collection. If you look at initialize, you'll see that I have ordered collection new. So I create a case here. So add condition value block. So I'm just creating a block with an association in it. And I have here switch on the condition, default, self error, switch default. So I go ahead and try to find the condition, execute the value, you know, by finding the value for the association, then sending value to that, because what I'm doing in this is setting up this key value pair, and this value remembers a block. So when I go ahead and execute it down here, I have to actually go ahead and send value to it. And if false, I send the default block, which may just be the error condition if I haven't sent one, the value message, and execute that. And that's really all there is to it. This is just an ordered collection of associations. And then I just look them up and execute. You could think of many ways to do this with dictionaries. This is not the only way to do it. And again, this is probably not the best kind of code to write. In most cases, you would want to use polymorphism. And I'll do a screencast soon that will demonstrate a, that way of solving a problem like this, which is the far more recommended way to go about this in Smalltalk. But I thought I'd sketch this out because, again, I'd been asked about it. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.